Are you planning on creating a business plan for your business idea that can help you get started right away? Have you felt more confused because you found conflicting information on the internet? If so, you're in the right place because in this video entitled How to Write a Business Plan to Start Your Small Business, you learn how to write a simple business plan to start your small business the right way. You have a wonderful idea and you're eager to start, but there's one thing holding you back, the fact that you don't have a business plan. Let's take a look at my mentee's experience. Let's call her Yana. Yana is a 30-year-old married woman from Aklan and she has three children. Now, here's a quick backstory. She and her husband wanted to provide a comfortable life for their kids, so they both decided to work abroad. However, after a few years, they regretted not being there for their kids while they were growing up. They heard about the negative effects of children growing up without parents. Stories about not finishing school, getting pregnant at a young age, marrying early, alcoholism, and drug abuse terrified them. They agreed that one of them needed to come back home, so Yana volunteered to make the sacrifice. They knew it would impact their finances, but they knew they had to prioritize their children's well-being. So when she got back, Yana decided to start a business to help with the family's finances. She hoped that its success would allow her husband to stop working overseas as well. So Yana had sewing skills passed down from her mother who was a seamstress. She chose to create and sell sleepwear online as her business. And her husband supported her by funding the sewing machines. She also hired a seamstress to increase production. And Yana wanted to make sure that she was on the right track. So she did some research online and found lots of information and different opinions that made her feel more confused and unsure about what to do. Yana found that creating a business plan was a challenging task. So she wondered if it was really necessary for her new business. She wasn't planning to seek any financial support from banks anyway. And she made the decision to proceed without a business plan. Now, because of this, Yana faced unexpected problems. When she put her products online, she couldn't find buyers. Her expenses kept going, but she didn't make any sales. She felt confused, frustrated, and scared, wondering what she did wrong. Then she thought that just posting pictures like her competitors would be enough to sell. But after almost a month, nobody seemed interested in buying her products. And this made Yana upset with herself. She turned to the Facebook communities that she's part of and asked for possible solutions. And one member sent her a private message about joining the Purpose Driven Business Builders Facebook group. As it turned out, this member was a former mentee. And without wasting time, Yana reached out to me and hoped to get my help as she shared with me everything she did and how she felt about how things were going. Yana also told me why she wanted to make her business successful. And contrary to what people often think, a business plan isn't only made to get or borrow money from the bank. A business plan actually serves as a roadmap for business growth and success. And writing one doesn't need to be complicated. You don't even have to use words that are too technical. So here are five steps on how to write a business plan for your small business. Step number one, know important details about your business. And this is actually the first step in making a business plan. You need to understand key things about your own business. First of all, what is your business called? What do you sell or provide as a service? What's the purpose or mission of your business? And what are your goals for the future of your business? So let's go to step number two, study the market. This is a very important part of the business plan. Without it, your business won't have a good chance of succeeding. In this step, you need to find out if there's a real need for your business. You should figure out if there are customers who want to buy what you're offering. Knowing your target market will help you decide how much to charge for your products or services. Now, to be better than your competitors, you should also learn about them and how you can be different from them. Okay, let's move to number three. Create a marketing plan. A marketing plan explains how you will advertise your business or promote your business, reach your target customers, and make sales. How will you tell people about your business? How will you let customers know about your products or services? How will you attract customers to buy from your business? You need to find answers to these questions. Okay, next is step number four. Decide how you will run the business. Will you start alone or hire employees to help you? This will help you plan how to manage your daily business activities and share the workload as a business owner. And finally, for this video, number five, estimate your finances. Your financial performance shows how successful you are. So you need to think about the cost and the profit of your products and services. 
your forecast should also include how many customers you expect to attract. Now, you see how making a business plan before starting your business can help you solve potential problems in advance? Or you might even decide not to proceed anymore with the business that you have in mind because of what you have found out. So, do you see that following these steps is wiser than jumping into business without any plan at all? Actually, it's not the capital or product that we should consider first when starting a business. To have a strong business foundation and to start it right, we should always start with our business calling. What's a business calling, Mami In? To find out what a business calling is, you can check my other video entitled Find Your Business Calling. The link is in the description. Now, back to Yana. At first, she felt that she had to do everything from scratch, but she had to do what she had to do. At some point, she wanted to give up, but she reminded herself why she wanted the business in the first place. So, Long story short, her business is now doing far better. With her online store, she's able to attract the right customers and is now selling a lot. As the business is earning well, her husband is now home for good. They are now both running their business. And oh, a business plan is not cast in stone, by the way. You can change and adjust it according to how your business grows. Okay, so this is Mommy and your Mommy Negosyo saying, Be business-minded, Pinoy! Be business-minded, Pinoy!